Hey people, Edward Wright here of Taught Wright. Um, I specialize in teaching music theory to singers and musicians. Uh, this video, this lesson will be for singers. All right. Um, so what you do me a favor, uh, would you like, uh, hit subscribe, uh, comment, all that good stuff. Also to my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, welcome to those who comment. Thank you so much for commenting and Good stuff. I really do appreciate it. All right. So um, singers uh, and musicians, we're going to have a lesson on uh, inversions uh, and what they are, how to use them. Um, so inversions uh, are you take it one, you take one chord, let's say the major chord, one, three, five, and you just change the order. You invert it up. All right. So one, three, five, then we'll be with three, five, one. All right. So you just invert it or you change the direction and move the contents um or the the num the, the contents of that chord and just move the lower note put that up to the top again one three five if you invert it would be three five one all right now singers uh we we invert all the time especially with gospel music all right so if this is the one <clears throat> One, one, two, three. That's like the tenor part, right? Three, four, five. That would be an inversion. Five, six, one. That would be the, the top inversion. Got it? So one, two, three. That's the first inversion. The second inversion. Three, four, five. Five, six, one. All right. Does that make sense? So once we master this, do you know, well, singers, once we master this, nothing will be impossible for us to sing. If you really understand the inversion and then like, okay, my first, my first note is the five. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, one, mm, mm. five, six, one, invert. And one, two, three, got it. Ooh, I got loud just now. Yeah, I did. But you got it. You see it? So, like altos, if your first note is three, one, two, three, three, four, five, come on, sing. Three, four, five, let's invert. Five, six, one, again. Five, six, one, got it? Yeah. Just like tenors, if you were doing one, two, three, and then do it again. One, two, three, invert, and three, four, five, again. Three, four, five, you got it? So, again, what does it mean to invert? Several answers. One, you could say singers. Well, the tenor part, they take the alto part. That's what it means to invert, which is correct. Or you could say, well, that's when the altos take the soprano part. That's what it means to invert, which is also correct. Uh, you also could say sopranos. Soprano, when the sopranos have their note, and then they take the tenor uh, part an octave higher. That means to invert. That's also correct, all right? Uh, musicians, those of us who play, we can say, well, when you take the root chord or you take a chord in the root position and you invert it and you put the three, five, one. Got it? So there's several ways to say the same thing because it's saying the same thing, but uh, from different perspectives, from the singer's perspective, and then we have the singer's perspective, we have the tenor, the alto, the soprano, the, sopra the soprano perspective, <laughs> and then we have the musicians, all right? Um, so both are correct. Uh, that is our quick lesson about inversions, all right? So uh, let's end it by singing. One, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, one, sing. And one, two, three, Three, four, five, five, six, one, again. And one, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, one, one more time. One, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, one. That's our lesson about inversions. All right. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I tried to make it under five minutes, which is looks like I'm going to be successful. Do me a favor, would you like? Would you subscribe to this channel? Would you share this content? Uh, also comment, let me know, uh, could you follow, um, you know, all right, peace.